Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Now that we're done with all of the new champion guides and everything, we can start focusing more on the epic relics and try out some new epic relic builds. This is one that I just thought up that I thought would be a lot of fun. So using the Pack Powder Scourge's Stash on our Jinx, so she costs nothing because both of these are going to give us Plunder. I cost two less. She's a four cost champion. And then also using the Loose Cannon's Payload. Now before I was running with the Scourge's Stash as well as the Dreadweight Chase Guns, and I put this first before the Loose Cannon's Payload just so we'd have a little bit more of a full hand to discard so that it would do a little bit extra damage, but it wasn't adding that much. And so I thought, why not just replace this with the Pack Powder so we can play our Jinx round one for free, which is gonna be crazy. She'll also scale up throughout the game. And I think this could be a really fun play style. Now, if you appreciate all this Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe. Also, we have a Discord. So if you wanna hang out and talk all things Path of Champions or just hang out with like-minded gamers, Click the link in the description down below and let's get into it. All right, let's see what we get for our first power here. Inheritance, counterfeit production. This could be pretty nice. I think we're gonna go here because it'll be a spell or just a card we can play for free and then always be able to play our Jinx and still have the two starting mana for our super mega death rockets. All right, Fiora with unyielding determination. Uh, let's get rid of this. Most of this doesn't matter. We know we're gonna, we're gonna draw our Jinx because she's the only champion. Alright, so we're just going to immediately play this, getting that plunder effect off. We now can play Jinx for free, round one. We still have the two mana for our two super mega death rockets. Alright, we'll play one to get rid of their units so they don't have any blockers. All right, let's attack, and then we can finish them off. GG. Oh, right, they have... Oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. I always forget about that. Well, we could have gotten an OTK. Ah, oh, well. All right, let's just play that to immediately kill their unit. Alright, so we'll play this a little bit slower. Oh, they didn't want to play anything. Alright. This should be a GG. Alright, Parallel Convergence. That's a pretty crazy card. Let's go ahead and grab that. Alright, Support Champion. I think... I think we'll go ahead and go here, just because this is pretty cheap, can give us some ramp, this can count down. Granted, we don't really want to deal with our support champion at all, we just want to deal with Jinx. Man, unyielding again, but we want this champion item chest, so yeah, let's deal with Karma. Now, Karma is somewhat countering us in the fact that... The main benefit of this build is just putting on so much pressure early that the enemy can't stand it. That kind of is undercut when the enemy also starts at 10 mana. Heart and mind as one. But we're just going to play our bard here, immediately grab their karma. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Ionia speaks through well, that figures. Um, parallel Convergence. It's sad that we're going to discard this. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll just you do our Jinx and she'll probably kill their karma. <laughs> Um, sure. It's kind of overkill, but it's fine. Yeah. 
Alright, so still almost through their first health bar, and we haven't even attacked yet. Alright, let's attack like this, doing as much damage as we can. Also, we don't really need to play the counterfeit copies, because it's going to get discarded at the end of the round, so it's still going to deal damage to them. We're just going to keep killing whatever they play. <laughs> We are perfectly fine with this, they're just running out of cards. Happy to do whatever's needed. From shores to hills, we know every acre. Alright, that one is a little bit more of a pain. All right, GG. Man, this build definitely does feel pretty crazy. Uh, I think we'll go here. There's a chance we might end up cutting this. We need more copies of that one. Actually, we'll go for the repost. That far sight is going to mean we have one extra hand in our starting hand, which means one extra damage towards the enemy nexus and their board when we discard everything. Man, I'm yielding again. <laughs> this always happens. Uh, we'll get this. This will give us a ton of extra damage because we're going to play a bunch of created cards. Alright, Sejuani with unyielding. This always happens where the majority of what I face is just <laughs> the same uh, legendary modifier for like almost the entire run. So if you're going to go with this build and you don't have something to trigger... Uh, your plunder at the start of the game. Your Eager Apprentice is going to be great because it's going to deal damage and it's going to give you that two spell mana, which is what you need for your super mega death rockets. Ah, uh, we're fine with that, hey, Nust. Rules are made to be broken. Like villains. For people. Hey, we are doing it. Always good to have that two mana for your death rockets. If we get slow but steady, so this goes off twice, that'd be pretty nice. Also, playing this is just going to keep increasing the damage of our Jinx. Alright, we can go ahead, attack like this. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Huh. They don't want to play anything. Alright. Just wanted to free up our hand a little bit more. Oh, I forgot that she gave us one extra draw. Ah, oh, well. So at this point, we're just waiting to win at the end of the round. Or at the start of the next round, we attack, that is. This would be such a faster game if everything didn't have a yielding. Uh, GG. All right, I think Rocket Border, that'd be pretty good. Ah, uh, Farsight, we'll go grab it just for that. Enfeebling Strike is pretty good, especially for Jinx. It's not helping our aggression, but I think we will end up grabbing this, actually. 
I'm fine with not getting anything else. Fine, Ash with Duplicate. All right, Parallel Convergence, not bad, but let's try to get rid of most of this. We do want to have our Jinx. All right, there we go. So one issue is if we play Jinx when we don't have the attack turn, she's just going to get Frostbitten at the start of the next round. So I think I'm actually going to try to pass here. They still might Frostbite her, but at least we have a chance of not getting Frostbitten. Actually, let's go ahead and slow play this a little bit, see if they blow their mana on other stuff. Yeah, like that. We didn't want that to hit, uh, to hit our Ash. Or not Ash, our oh, Jinx. Alright, they still might have more. Hmm. Actually, if we play this, won't we get two mana back? We will, so we can essentially play this for free. I mean, it's slightly wasted, but at least it'll make them have to play something, potentially. All right, good. They do have some one co one cost frostbites, but at least we maybe will have a chance to get a attack in. All right, we're out of mana. That should be game for us then. Use one more Super Mega Death Rocket, attack with Jinx, and that'll be game. Yep. GG. Alright, Jinx with Black Cleaver. That's going to be amazing. Wow. That is pretty crazy. Uh, this won't help us that much. This would help us a lot more. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab this. Herald of the Magus, item chest, spells chest. I think we could deal with Ezreal, so let's go for this item chest, I think. Alright, let's get rid of most of these. So again, we're going to play this first. We want them to blow all the removal spells on this. There we go. Guess we could have used our Noxian Fervor, potentially. But this will be good. They only have one mana, so they shouldn't have enough to kill our Jinx, especially with her stats about to get doubled. Yep, totally fine with that. Yeah. Alright, GG. I'm really thinking that this is going to be just the new best Lux build, or not Lux, goodness, the new best Jinx build. Uh, Pyromantic Wake for this, pretty good. Granite are probably never going to play it. Uh, that... Sure. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm on the case. Alright, so, Caitlyn with a stable inventory. Uh, we have all of this. Alright, that's not bad. If you have what you want, you don't necessarily need to reroll, because then that's just going to get... Or make sure you don't get all your farsights. So I think here, instead of going for the Eager Apprentice, we're actually going to go for the Boom Crew Rookie because it just does a ton of damage, so it's worth losing out on one of our uh, Super Mega Death Rockets. Alright, 
All right, we'll just be able to open attack and that'll be game. This build is so broken. All right, GG. All right, we don't want to get more copies of Bard. I guess we'll go here, but we don't really want this at all. Uh, yeah, don't really want any of these. Don't want to further clog up our hand. Uh, that could be okay. Give us one extra draw. Sure, we can grab that. All right, Epic Champion Chest, definitely want that. So we have Zed with Power Overwhelming. All right, we have our Jinx. Uh, we want to see if we can get one of our other better cards. All right, we'll just play this then. Get our Plunder effect off. Yeah, we'll just be able to again end in the first round. Soften them up with our death rockets, and then let our jinx finish them off. Alright, GG. Nice and easy. Uh, yeah, I guess. Actually, sure. Let's get even more Farsight. We're kind of already overdrawing, but just in case we have bad luck and have some of our Farsight in our opening four cards, this will just give us more to draw. We're really just trying to end in the first round, so anything that helps that more is better. Making sure we have Jinx, probably more important, but I think Double Black Cleaver is just hilarious, so let's go ahead and grab that. All right, what do we want to cut? Uh, let's go ahead and see. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> We're looking at how many cards, or how many copies of cards. We have four Rocket Borders. So yeah, I think we'll actually end up getting rid of this. Even though there's other worse cards, we just want to have the smallest deck possible so we can always try to draw our Jinx. All right, Fizz with, again, Unyielding. All right, we have Jinx, nice. Uh, we can just... Well, I guess we have some wiggle room with the fact that we have so much Farsight that even if we have one in our opening hand like this, we're still probably going to draw enough that it's not an issue. All right, let's yeah, go ahead and play this, see what they want to do, probably play their Fizz. And there it goes. Yeah, that's pretty big. Alright, so let's just try to... Well, true, right. They do have that unyielding, so we won't just be able to immediately end the game. Although, we're not going to be able to... get through this with these units. Yeah, we'll just... We'll pop it like this and then deal as much damage we can after. Probably should have saved the other Death Rocket because our other units aren't strong enough to get through that health bar. Alright, that's fine. Everything they play will just immediately kill. Right, we'll just kill this ourselves to deal more damage to their Nexus.
Alright. GG. Alright, Dragon Tooth. Pretty good. How many copies of Jinx do we have now? Six. Wonderful. Uh, we're already overdrawing, so we don't really need that. Slow but steady. Actually, Titanic Wake, we could get eight more um, power and health with our Jinx. Slow but steady would probably be better because both of our rockets would get doubled. So it would make each one do like 10 damage. So I think we'll go ahead and go here. But that one also would be pretty funny. All right, Diego with duplicate. Uh, let's re-roll all of these. Just trying to get our Jinx. All right, perfect. All right, so we do not have the attack token, but that's probably fine. Since we have that slow but steady, we can probably still end this game. Or end this round, that is. Part of the reason we didn't go for the Titanic Wake. We didn't want all of our power to just be in our Jinx attacking. Also, slow but steady is just so good for <laughs> these spells. So, not quite there. Alright, GG. Uh, I guess we'll grab this. Don't really care about any of those. Uh, again, don't really care. This would be another spell every round, but we don't really need that. We already have full. Uh, that's pretty good. Well, somewhat good. We're not summoning that many units. Uh, Tritomir with Duplicate. All right, let's get rid of a couple of these just to try to make sure or have more of a chance of drawing our Jinx. play this first just to see what they want to play. Alright, they blew all of their mana. We should be able to just end this uh, game, or this round. So the one issue is that tough is going to reduce down our damage a lot. Alright, let's go ahead and use this just to kill them. So we won't have mana for our other Mega Death Rocket, but we have our attack that will just be able to end the game. GG. Uh, let's try to get a couple more copies of this in our hand. Alright, Swain with Duplicate. Alright, let's get rid of these three. Again, just trying to re-roll for our Jinx. Alright, we do not have the attack token. Might be a little bit more difficult to end the first round. They might open it back. Yep. That's fine. So it'll be close. I think we might be like one away from ending the game. Oh, actually that one damage might have given it to us.
Yep, we're good. These will both go off. We'll use one pow pow on our own unit, and uh, that'll be game. GG. Uh, grab some more of these. That's all right. All right, Aurelian Soul with Unyielding Determination. All right, let's get rid of these three. Again, just try and make sure we have our Jinx. We have the attack token. So we might be able... Well, yeah, we won't be able to get through there Unyielding probably this first turn. Are right, they going to blow all their mana on? Yes, they will. Wonderful. So much to tell Always great. So what damage is that looking like? Let's cast one of these. Alright, so we'll attack like this. She'll pop the first health bar and then everything else will work on just getting it lower. Yeah, if they didn't have that uh, unyielding, we could have won in our first attack. A little sad. Uh, we're going to play this so we don't overdraw. Alright, that's fine. Do you think I'm gonna to want to try to kill that? Uh, I think this should be able to kill him. Anything else? <laughs> Stick your lip out and get the puppy out. Trust me. Alright, not bad. Oh right, they're gonna summon something else. Alright, so they might have some annoying spells to deal with us, but we're just going to try to attack like this. Well, I guess let's just try to kill him. Alright, this should be GG. They're fishing, they're trying to find something to help them. <laughs> Alright, GG. Alright, 22 minutes, not bad, especially considering we had five different unyielding, I think, that we had to work through, including Aurelian Soul. Uh, yeah, pretty good. I think this is going to be the next best build for Jinx. Now, we did get lucky with some good powers, such as the double black cleavers, as well as like the perfected mana flow. But even without that, we were still doing massive damage and normally able to end games in the very first round. If you do have that uh, combination of relics, I definitely recommend trying this out. This is going to be my new go-to Jinx build. Being able to play your Jinx round one and then immediately level her up, discard your hand, play your super death, super mega death rockets is really awesome. And this definitely makes her feel even more powerful than she already was. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, definitely like and subscribe. If you want to join our Discord, there's a link to it down below. I hope you all have a great day.